is Isaac Pratt from Toyota Grand Rapids. We are sitting right now in a new 2019 Prius all-wheel drive. We're going to take a little test drive and we're going to discuss everything that's going on with this brand new vehicle that just touched the ground here at Toyota Grand Rapids. So hang on and let's see what we can find out about this vehicle. drive Prius. We're going to take off right now. As always, when you back up, you still have the lovely beeper with the backup camera. One of the things they did change about the Prius is it's not category as one, two, three, four anymore. Now they're falling in line with the rest of the models and it's now an LE, XLE, and limited models. The one we are driving today is the LE model, all wheel drive. That's the first one that has hit the ground. One thing you should know, the all wheel drive takes part right when you take off in the vehicle. The all-wheel drive will stay engaged until we reach about 47 miles an hour, which then, because of the fuel efficiency of the Prius, will switch to two-wheel drive. And that's all done with a second electric motor that knows when to disengage itself and when to engage itself. And as you can see with the new model, they still keep the instrumentation still very visible and still very easy to reach. Everything is within the driver's reach. No matter where you reach on the vehicle, it's all within reach. You still have the CD player, which I know it's becoming a lost art with vehicles now, but you still have the CD player. This has Apple CarPlay, which is still available. You look at the screen, I know a lot of you Prius owners notice that the screen is smaller. This is only in the LE model that this screen is this size. When XLE and limited, you're still gonna get your full known for Prius size screen. So far as the city is driving, this reacts really well. You still have a smooth drive. And actually, I just feel more in command of the road right now. Drive I'm still in all-wheel drive when it feels at this point one of the things that the new Prius does as we're in this point of around 40 miles an hour or so your vehicle is going to know if it's going to need the all-wheel drive or not so it will disengage itself at the lower speeds if it feels it's not necessary and I know a lot of people talk about the all-wheel drive oh it's going to detriment my gas mileage but because of the technology that they use your all-wheel drive is not always engaged it only appears when you need it now I'm switching this over into power mode now from our normal situation to drive mode you switch it over to power mode what I'm doing is I'm doing this so we're going on the highway I kind of want a little more power so when you switch it into power mode once I get around this curb, I'll be able to step on the gas and, and get up to speed almost instantly. Woohoo! That is a great takeoff on this. Yes, it's like one of the coolest things. Hey, short on ramp, no problem getting out of the highway at speed. That power mode just allows you to switch it and you notice when you're in power mode because it will say power mode and the screen and back will turn red now that i'm on the highway i can actually switch it back into the normal road or the economical and what it'll do is see yeah, the back screen will change so it lets you know what screen you have. Mm -hmm. now at this speed as i was talking earlier the all-wheel drive is disengaged completely now we're on solid surface traveling at a at speed limit which is about 70 and so that electric motor that controls the all-wheel drive will disengage because it knows you do not need it at this speed and it, and it does that to better your fuel economy okay. right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the cruise control and I'm setting the cruise control now you see the grid that showed up, that's my dynamic range cruise control. Uh -huh. Now I have that on right now. So I'm set at a distance, 
Now, anytime anyone comes into that distance, my vehicle automatically slows down. So there's a radar that keeps on reading the distance. Yes, there's a radar that's keeping my distance. So I'm always going to keep that distance away from them. And see, now that they're speeding up, mm -hmm. my vehicle's starting to speed back up to where I had it set at. So it's kind of driving for you. Yes, it's. I like to call it a set it and forget it driving tool. Uh -huh. Because it helps for a highway so you're not always worried about pushing on your brake, pushing on your gas, resetting your cruise control. Yeah. This allows you just to set it and forget it. Uh -huh. So now that I have my speeds, my, I'm up to my speed, I still have my distance speed. And as someone enters, my yeah. vehicle slowed down. Yeah, I just did. Yeah. And now it's speeding back up. And you're not touching gas I'm pedal I'm not touching the gas pedal, I'm not touching the brake. This is all doing it all on its own. Okay. Oh, even at these highway speeds, this runs very smooth. Having no problems whatsoever with this. And the roads are now so bumpy, but it still feels yes, nice and small. With yeah. all the grids and everything, we all know how Michigan roads are, but this is handling them really well. I mean, you can barely hear them. You hear the thunk, 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 thunk. Yeah. You can't feel the bumps hardly. It's just floating over them, but you're still sturdy. Pre-collision system is it's all the actions that Toyota has put into the safety to keep you from it's a accident preventer. Mm -hmm. What it does is say, for instance, I'm driving behind this vehicle right now. Yeah. If I don't pay attention, if I'm not paying attention, or I have no indication that they stopped, and I'm just coming up to them full speed, the vehicle is going to start the action of stopping for you. What it's going to do is start preparing the brakes, preparing the airbags, preparing everything. It's going to start slowing the vehicle down. Mm -hmm. And it's going to bring your attention that, hey, you're in imminent trouble right now. Yeah. It's time to take action. And Are you slowing down? Is the I'm slowing down oh, okay. myself. Because okay. because we we're off the highway yeah. and be below the distance, the oh, range con cruise control is not active right now. Once I get out of cruise. Would you compare this ride to another Toyota, like a Corolla or a Camry, is there another one that you would? I would actually, for comfort and ride, for space, I would compare this with a Corolla because it's, you know, we get, it's a smaller vehicle mm -hmm. and it still has all the safety features that you need, which are standard. For ride, I have to put it between somewhere between a Corolla and Camry. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, it is a great ride. I am enjoying the ride of this. And it's smooth, yeah. but still it's compact, so we know we can get into the tight spaces. So right now, we're going to go through the parallel parking. I actually pulled in the park a lot. I pulled up to a vehicle here. I pushed the parallel parking button, and now it's telling me, to back up I'm not touching the wheel right now what And that is your parking assist. <laughs> no hands on the wheel, and all I had to do is put it in reverse and drive. That's awesome. I even rolled down the window so you can see my cool. hands. Cool, cool. I don't know if you want to show the button at all. Um, yeah. Just talk to me. Oh. What are you doing? Just so you know, we're going to do the parallel parking from the outside so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to have the window down so you can see my hands. But to engage the parallel parking, there is a button here that says P and it has a steering wheel. All you have to do is push that button and it's going to tell you what to do after that. Okay, let's see it.
Just wanted to show you something that's a little different than the Prius. Everyone knows the Prius back ends have the zigzag long night. What they did is they changed it back so you have the smaller looking headlight, I mean tail lights again. So it's given a new look with the new design. So hopefully you enjoy that as much as the rest of the vehicle.